Today, I'm going to be showing you the fastest and easiest way to make your very own NFT collection. I've tested a few different ways to create NFT collections, and I found that using a free tool called AutoMentor is by far the best method. AutoMentor allows you to generate large NFT collections very easily, and it will even create the contract for you, as well as create a page for your NFTs to be minted. So let's go ahead and jump over to the AutoMentor website right now. Okay, so we are now on AutoMentor's website. You can see the URL right here, but if you give it a quick Google search, it should come up. And it's gonna ask you to connect a crypto wallet. I'm gonna use MetaMask. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to create a MetaMask wallet if that's something you're interested in. So let's go ahead and click on MetaMask for our wallet to connect. And you can see it's gonna push us over here to our MetaMask wallet we are loading in. But essentially it's just gonna ask you to sign in. And so once we're signed in, you can see we are ready to start making our NFT collection. And I don't have any collections yet, so we're gonna come here and click on create a new NFT collection. And you can see this has a very simple interface. All we need to do is we're gonna start adding our layers. So the first layer that we need to add is our background layer. So let's click on add layer, and you can title this whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it as background. Let's click on upload and we're loading in here, I'll click on NFT files, and you can see I have all of what I need for my NFT. I have three backgrounds here, and it's really important to remember when you are making your NFT collection to save everything as a PNG file. That way it will all show up. So let's go ahead and click on this one, we'll click on open, and that'll add one background layer. Let's go ahead and upload our others as well. So we'll click on our purple background, and we'll come up here and we will upload our yellow background now as well. And one of the things that's also really simple about AutoMinter is we can now select the rarity for each of these backgrounds. So you can see if I come here, click on it, we can select uncommon, common, rare, super rare, or we can make it a custom number. So let's say for this color background, let's go ahead and make this one rare and we'll keep the other two as common. And let's go ahead and add another layer to our NFT collection. For this one, I'm gonna make a monkey NFT. So let's just title this monkey. And let's go to upload once again. We're in our NFT files. We're gonna upload monkey number one. We'll come up here, we'll go to upload. We'll select this other monkey. We'll come here to upload once again and we'll select this one and just one more to go. Monkey number four is right here and we'll select open on this one. And again, I'm gonna select the rarity I want for each of these monkeys. So let's say, I think this dude right here looks pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's make this one super rare and I'll keep the other three as common. And I'm gonna go ahead and add one more layer to my NFT. And I'm just gonna title this one money. So I'm gonna come here to upload once again. And you can see we have two money bags here. Let's go ahead and add these to our collection. And I kind of like the way this one looks, so I'm gonna make this one rare also. And you can see here, we can see kind of what our NFT collection is starting to look like. We can come here and click on randomize and it'll bring us another NFT. So we can do this a few times and kind of see what it'll look like and what we can expect. But once we're done, go ahead and go through everything. Make sure it's exactly how you want it. You've set the rarity how you want it. If you have any more layers you want to add, you can do that here. But once you're done, you can come up here and click on Generate Collection. And here we can select exactly how many NFTs we want to make. You could do up to 10,000 if you want to. You could do just 10. I'm going to go ahead and select 100. And based off how many you chose, it could take a little while, but I only chose 100, so I think it'll just take a moment. Okay, so now our NFT collection has been created. Let's go ahead and scroll down and you can kind of see what your collection looks like. And it's important to remember the rarity you place on everything. So like this NFT here would be considered a little more rare because of this money bag that we have here. That's a more rare trait. Let's scroll down and we can see we have the color background on these monkeys here. That's kind of a rare trait. This money bag is rare and you can go down and show more. So we're looking at 35 of our 100 
NFT collections. And if you're going through it and you're like, you know, this didn't really come out the way I want it, you can either go back to edit or you can just regenerate the images. So if I click here, it'll start to regenerate the entire NFT collection and maybe you'll have more come out the way that you desired. But it is also important to remember if it doesn't come out the way you desired, maybe you should go back to edit and change the rarity on some of the traits. But uh, once you have everything the way you want it, we're just gonna come up here and we're gonna click add collection to blockchain. So we'll click this right here and we can name our collection. And let's say we wanna name this money monkeys. And we can add a symbol here and we're gonna have a minting fee. But before we do that, we need to select our network. So you can see, you can pick either Ethereum or Polygon. Polygon is a lot cheaper right now, but Ethereum is a little bit, um, I would say better crypto for NFTs, but for the sake of the cost of this video, I'm just gonna select Polygon. And I'll keep the mining fee at 0.05. Now let's come over here and click add to blockchain. And it is gonna kick me back over to my MetaMask account. And now that we've loaded in, you can see the costs associated with adding this to the blockchain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add funds to my account real quick, and then I'm gonna click on confirm. And so once we have confirmed our transaction, we'll have a screen on auto minter show up like this one. And you can see here, we now have a minting page. We have a link to it right here. We can visit if we click this visit page. And if we come down just a little bit farther, you can see we can now perform airdrops. So say we were wanting to promote our NFTs, we could give a few away for free um, using this airdrop method right here. But down here, you can see we have external links and we have our files syncing, which will make them completely decentralized. So that is everything you need to make your very own NFT collection using AutoMinter. If you end up creating an NFT collection, let us know in the comments below so we can all go and check out each other's NFTs. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.